James. Tonight, from Republican West Virginia to Democrat California, how Donald Trump's election victory is changing the way people think about America. Join me now on BBC Two for at 11 p.m. in Scotland. And that's it from us here on BBC One. It's time for all the news where you are. Have a very good night. Welcome to the Labour Board tonight. Sean Lehman. Confirmation of parts of the route of the new high-speed rail line, but there's still uncertainty about where it will go in South Yorkshire. Plans which could lead to fracking at a site near Bawtree get the go-ahead. And those temperatures go oh, right down over the next couple of days. Stay tuned for a full forecast. Hello, very good evening to you. The government today confirmed plans for the second phase of the high-speed rail route HS2 to leak. But there's still no decision on where the line will run through South Yorkshire. Originally, the idea was a station at Meadow Hall to serve Sheffield, Rotherham, Barnsley and Doncaster. But Sheffield wanted a station in the city centre. Their argument was it would bring more business into Sheffield and help the other towns. A new route was proposed that would send the line further east with a spur through Chesterfield and Sheffield on existing tracks. But that meant the main line going through a housing estate in Doncaster. People there and the council not happy about that. Today we thought there would be a decision on which route was best, but there's to be more consultation before they make a call next year. As Tom Ingle now reports. Construction work continues on the Shimmer estate, and so does the uncertainty. Some here are speaking up, some want to move out. You'll be going some to find a pro HS2 voice here, but what they do want is a decision. I mean, my daughter, I mean, she's so, so upset by all this, as you can probably appreciate. She thought she'd, two years ago, she thought she'd found a hat home for life, and she hasn't. Progress has to go on, but it shouldn't compromise people's lifestyles or affect the way in which they live. We just feel very, very let down, very let down by both the government and the HS2 themselves. <laughs> the company designing HS2 have told the government Building a spur line into the existing Sheffield station and rerouting the main line could save one billion pounds. But a consultation on the plans will take place. Theoretically then, the original Meadow Hall station option may be only sleeping, not dead after all. Some decisions have been made. Leeds will get an interchange station between HS2 and the current rail network. Apprentices and councillors are on board. 
This is great news for the North, the first railway for over a hundred years. And long last, we're going to invest in what I've been a very decrepit, disappointing rail system around the North. We have put together uh, this report. A string of villages in between Doncaster and Rotherham are affected by the route change. Together, they've compiled a report disputing HS2's figures on costs and the number of houses that might be demolished. Their voices are in chorus with local politicians. This isn't high-speed rail into Sheffield. It's going to be low speed. This isn't mm. five or six trains an hour. It's two trains an hour. This doesn't connect to Leeds. It's, it's, a, it's a project that the HS2 themselves said in 2014 wouldn't provide the economic benefits for the whole of South Yorkshire. I'm just taking HS2 at their word, and that's why we're saying the government should think again. Whatever route they take, wherever they call, high-speed trains aren't expected to reach Yorkshire until 2033. Long enough for parents of young families who live on Shimmer to have grown up or become grandparents. Certainly long enough for the estate to be lost to memory. Shut up. In your reporting or part of the route that has changed is at Woolford, southeast of Leeds. The original plan was for the line awesome. to Leeds to run north of the village yeah. along the River Air on a viaduct. That's now been shelved in favour of a kilometre long tunnel beneath Woolford itself. Joining us tonight from Westminster is the MP for the area, Alex Shelbrook. Alex, you took this fight to number 10. You wanted them to axe the viaduct in favour of a tunnel. So good news for you and your constituents, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it's been a four-year campaign. Um, let's be clear, I always said that the HS2 project was a very important project for Leeds. I think it's a massive wealth generator for our city uh, moving forward. But it had to be done in the right way, and the original proposal of the branch line into Leeds was totally unacceptable in my view. Um, devastated around 400 houses. What we've managed to achieve by showing a better route, I put forward the idea of tunnelling about two or three years ago now, is that we've got that. It doesn't affect any houses. It's, it's 20 to 45 metres beneath um, the um, houses above it. Um, but of course it is tempered by the fact that we still didn't get any changes to the main line and the focus of my work now has to be to make sure we can mitigate and do landscaping and tree coverage in the best possible way. But Mr Shelbrook, let's look at South Yorkshire, can we? They are still in limbo there. They're under this cloud of uncertainty, aren't they? Yes, it's unfortunate of, um, that the original plans came out, as I understand it. There's a council going on between the South Yorkshire Council, the Sheffield Council, Doncaster Council, Barnsley Council, all wanting different solutions. And there is, of course, the statutory period that has to go through when a change is made. But I think the important thing is, is that I would say to the local MPs representing those areas, get together with your local group and work proactively with the ministers, as I've done for the last four years, because as one resident put it to me today, well, at least this has shown that the political system does work. We contacted our MP, we worked proactively together. Secretary of State Patrick McLaughlin at the time actually sat in the living room of the So What Action Group, and all of those concerns were taken on board. All right, Mr Shelbert, we will have to leave it there. Thank you. Thank you. Next tonight, controversial plans to test for shale gas in a village near Bawtry have been given the go-ahead. Council has voted in favour of allowing energy firm iGas permission to begin drilling in Mitten. Phil Bodmer has the details. Oh, yeah, sure. 